thing to do comedy, but I think I walked into a short dick support group. <laughs> about what you are all wondering, the elephant in the room. <laughs> yes, it is true. I am Canadian. <laughs> <laughs> but don't you worry, I have come to terms with it. <laughs> and I do not mind if you stare. <laughs> This is my first time doing comedy. I hope you like it, but if you don't, take a lesson from me and say nothing. <laughs> you should know that if you heckle me, my dog is trained to go for the vocal cords. <laughs> Digital nomads want to be Canadian just like me. Everything out of your mouth better be a laugh. <laughs> Dating is probably the hardest thing for me. I guess people just don't find me attractive, you know, being Canadian and <laughs> Sometimes, people say shit like, Oh, it must be hard to be Canadian. <laughs> it's amazing. I love... No way. It's amazing. I love it. <laughs> there are so many benefits, for instance, um, 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 <laughs> I know this. Um, 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 um. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, I get slightly better parking, and I get women telling me that it is great to meet a guy who can not talk back. <laughs> doesn't want to be valued for their ability to shut the fuck up. <laughs> so, I'm not sure if you all noticed this, but I also happen to have a disability. I'll give you all a minute to come to terms with that shock. <laughs> <laughs> I have cerebral palsy, brain damage caused in infancy. It affects muscle control, but not intelligence in my case. That's why I'm such a comedic genius. <laughs> first mention about me though. Do you think maybe my very visible disability? No, 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 no. The thing people feel the need to ask is, oh, why do you use a female voice? <laughs> 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 yeah. That's seriously what they're most fucking curious about. <laughs> Not why I can't talk. That's why I am the leaning tower of Pisa. <laughs> Dog, there is nothing more interesting than the voice. <laughs> there isn't a Canadian accent, and I was sure as fuck not going to start speaking in a French one. <laughs> I have 
have, in the past, described my disability in a different way. One time, this girl at a party kept asking what's wrong with me. So I manufactured a hilarious backstory with my friend Chad. She asks again later, what's wrong with you? I say, it is no big deal. Chad cuts in as planned and says don't be modest, you're a fucking hero. <laughs> <laughs> he tells her, when I was younger, there was a building on fire, and I heard kittens meowing for hell. <laughs> I'm the type of man who just leaves kittens to burn. <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> I busted in that house like the damn Kool-Aid man. <laughs> But as I was leaving, the grafters fell on my head, causing brain damage. Ever since then, this is what you see. <laughs> right now, you might be thinking, this story seems far-fetched. Many people would agree with you. Karen did not. <laughs> She's still pissed off with me about it. <laughs> I once met a girl who asked me a question. Before I tell you what she said. No, I'm not joking, and yes, people are, in fact, this stupid. <laughs> she says, so, the left side of your body is messed up? Does that mean you only have a half-working penis? <laughs> what do I say to that? Why don't you find out? <laughs> yeah, it does magic tricks, and it has a fucking part-time job as a Starbucks barista. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you come see what else it can do? <laughs> I will show you some magic, but this is not that kind of show. <laughs> <laughs> Unless you want. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming, that is my time. Yeah.